My goodness, have I ever got a gorgeous piece of furniture today. This dresser is nobody's style. It just isn't. It's got good bones, but um, it's got some interesting design choices that we're going to be addressing and taking care of today and hopefully turning it into something absolutely beautiful by the end. So I've got my work cut out for me today. Let's get right on it and get flipping. First thing I've done is switch these drawers. I'm pretty sure that's how they're meant to be. It makes more sense that way. So I'm just making sure, whoa, it's tippy. Gotta make sure that it actually fits that way though. Yeah, I think that just makes more sense that way. So my next step is gonna be removing all the hardware. I'm gonna have to get some new stuff at least for these, there's some missing. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't decided yet what the poles are gonna be, but I'm definitely gonna keep whatever is still fine and good. I might reuse these, I might not. Like I said, I haven't decided. And then I'm gonna be trying to remove what I don't like. So let me get these candles taken off and then I'll bring you in close and we'll tackle that thing. got my sander out but I actually can't start sanding yet I've forgotten that I need to fill in these little holes where the nails were with Bondo as well as I made a bit of a mess of those side pieces taking them off my husband had to help me I assumed they were nailed on like the leaves were but they were screwed in and I, was, I started hammering on them with the screws and made a mess of things and then once I realized the screws were there I was like oh I can take the screws out and then they'll come off still didn't come off we had to crowbar it off we gouged things there's there's gonna be bondo so I have bondo to do and then I can get to sanding my dresser to get ready for paint The story of how I came across this paint is kind of a funny one. I'm not at all sponsored by them, but I was looking at an auction for an estate sale, something I do a lot, and I came across this listing for a lot of chalk paints. It was a crate full of random chalk paint, and I immediately recognized some of the Dixie Belle labels in there. And so I put it in my watch list, and I started watching it for the rest of the auction, and as the auction started closing, I went ahead and bid. There were over 20 cans, jars, various sizes of chalk paint, and it said some of them were opened, some of them were used, but I figured even if only a couple were good, chalk paint is expensive stuff. So I put in a bid for $20. And actually, it only ever went up to 16. So I won the lot of like, I want to say it's like 22 things of chalk paint for $16. And I got out of there and opened up the crate and looked in. And a couple of them were Dixie Belle. But most of them were this Junk Monkey paint. And I never even heard of this company before. So I went on their website and they are a family owned business out of Pennsylvania that make chalk paint. This is my first piece that I'm using it on and I have to say this dark blue over this white is covering really good. It's super thick and I'm 
been adding water here and there to help spread it out a little better. So far, my first impressions of just painting it on are really good. It's highly pigmented and it's covering really well, which after I just did those yellow nesting tables that took forever coats to cover, <laughs> this is a welcomed surprise. So I've just sprayed my first coat of polyurethane onto my piece. I'm using Verithane's polyurethane. It's a water-based poly top coat and it's one of my favorite ones to use. It sprays really, really nice and I really love how easy it is to spray a top coat on. Even when I paint pieces by hand, I prefer just to seal them by spraying it on. I enjoy the process of painting by hand. It really, I find it very relaxing, but top coating is not my favorite thing to do with a sponge brush or one of those discs. It can be done, it's not that hard, but it's just way faster for me to line up a couple pieces and poly them all at once. So that's what I've done today. I'm actually working in tandem with another piece that you'll be seeing next week. So you can look forward to that sitting right over there, just out of frame. My last step for this piece is going to be adding a little bit of gold, oh, oh, okay, a little more than a little bit of gold to the trim of this piece on the drawers. And this is the Decor Wax by Redesign with Prima, and it is in the color Eternal. For a list of all the products that I've used today, you can look down in the description box. A not too tragic tragedy has happened. I've decided I'm gonna reuse the poles. So that means I have to unbondo what I bondoed. So at least the holes are already marked. I'm gonna have to go in. I'll go in from the inside and punch that bondo back out. Oops. Oh well. All right, so this piece is all done, and my very first question for you is, is it done, or should I add a knob there? I've had a couple people tell me that I should probably do so, and I want you to let me know what you think. Let me know down in the comments below if I should add that knob or just leave it as it is. I'm glad I was able to get rid of that ugly leaf, and even though the side thingies here didn't really need to come off, I wanted a smoother look for this piece, and the gold just kind of happened. Um, I was kind of working through a few things this week and I needed a little extra time to myself and putting gold all over this piece was very therapeutic for me this time. And there's a few places that need tweaked, but I can do that in the next hour or so. My sun is about to set, so I wanted to film an ending for you guys really fast. I'll put here on the screen how much money I'm into it because I have no idea, I don't remember, but I'll let you know. And I hope you guys will join us next week for our next flip, and I'm excited to show that to you guys. So thank you so much for joining us. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll see you next week. I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Bye.